Welcome back to our channel, where we explore fascinating figures from history and delve into their remarkable stories. Today, we're diving into the life of one of the most influential prophets in the Bible, Isaiah. His prophecies about the coming Messiah and his unwavering devotion to God have captivated believers for centuries. But how did Isaiah meet his end? Discover the shocking details of the legend that surrounds Isaiah's death, as we examine the historical accounts and ancient texts that shed light on this mysterious event. Did Isaiah truly meet his end in such a gruesome manner? Was he really sawed in half, as the ancient accounts suggest? The answers may surprise you. Stick around as we uncover the mysterious and compelling account of Isaiah's death, a story that involves persecution, martyrdom, and a shocking execution. Are you ready to uncover the truth behind this ancient legend? Let's get started. Isaiah, whose name means, Yahweh is salvation, is best known for writing the book that bears his name in the Old Testament. His writings are especially significant for the prophecies he made about the coming Messiah, hundreds of years before Jesus was born. Isaiah was born in the 8th century BCE in Jerusalem, during the reign of King Isaiah. Isaiah grew up in a time of political and religious turmoil, as the kingdom of Judah faced various threats and challenges. There is limited information available about the personal life of Isaiah. However, we do know that he was the son of Amaz and had a family of his own, including a wife and sons, Isaiah 1 verse 1, 7 verse 3, 8 colon 3. While the books of Kings and Chronicles acknowledge Isaiah as a significant prophet, there is a likelihood that he also held the position of a priest. This possibility arises from the fact that his divine calling occurred in the temple, which was exclusively reserved for priests, Isaiah 6 verse 4. The anointing he received during his calling bears similarities to that of the prophet Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1 verse 9, Isaiah 6 verse 7. In the year that King Isaiah died, Isaiah had a profound encounter with God. He received a vision in the temple, where he saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne. Seraphim surrounded him, and one of them touched Isaiah's lips with a burning coal, symbolizing the purification of his speech. In this vision, Isaiah heard the voice of God calling him to be a prophet and to proclaim his message to the people of Judah. Isaiah began his prophetic ministry during the reign of King Ahaz. He delivered messages of warning, rebuke, and hope to the people of Judah, calling them to turn away from idolatry and injustice and to return to the ways of God. Isaiah's prophecies often addressed the political situation of his time, including the threats from neighboring nations such as Assyria. Isaiah's prophecies covered a wide range of topics. He spoke about the coming judgment upon Judah and Jerusalem due to their disobedience, but also offered messages of hope and restoration. Isaiah foretold the birth of the Messiah, describing him as a child who would be called Emmanuel, meaning, God with us. He also spoke of a future time of peace and justice when swords would be turned into plowshares and the wolf would dwell with the lamb. Isaiah's prophetic message had a significant impact on the people of Judah, and he gained a reputation as a respected and authoritative prophet. However, his message of judgment and the need for repentance also attracted opposition from those who rejected his words. Despite facing resistance and persecution, Isaiah remained faithful to his calling and continued to proclaim God's message. The exact details of Isaiah's death are not revealed in the Bible. However, there might be a clue in Hebrews 11, often known as the Hall of Faith, which mentions numerous faithful individuals from the Old Testament, including anonymous martyrs and persecuted saints. Hebrews 11 verse 37 states, They were stoned, they were sawed in two, they were killed by the sword, NLT. Some extra-biblical sources suggest that one of the unnamed individuals who were sawed in half could have been the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah, whose name signifies, the Lord is salvation, is the skilled author of the book of Isaiah. 
Through his prophetic ministry spanning around 55 to 60 years, he brought a message of hope and salvation to the people of Judah during the reigns of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah. According to ancient Jewish Christian tradition, Isaiah was martyred under the rule of King Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah. The tradition suggests that Isaiah was tied inside a sack, placed in the hollow of a tree trunk, and sawed in two. This account originates from the Ascension of Isaiah, a non-canonical book from the first century that claims to recount the events surrounding Isaiah's death. According to the narrative in the Ascension of Isaiah, Isaiah prophesies that Manasseh, the wicked son of King Hezekiah, will inflict torture and death upon him, rejecting the commands and teachings that Hezekiah had previously conveyed. Following Hezekiah's passing, King Manasseh becomes devoted to serving Satan, prompting Isaiah to flee to the mountains of Bethlehem alongside faithful servants of God such as Ananias, Joel, and Habakkuk. In this account, Belchira, who acts as a mediator between Satan and the ungodly individuals of the world, accuses Isaiah of inciting trouble against Manasseh. Motivated by Satan, Belchira harbors animosity towards Isaiah due to his significant prophecies about salvation through the future Messiah. As a consequence, Manasseh orders Isaiah's arrest and has him gruesomely executed by being sawed in half with a wooden saw. The story recounted in the Ascension of Isaiah had an impact on other early Jewish and Christian writings. It also finds mention in the Talmud, a compilation of Jewish texts that preserve the oral traditions of the early rabbis. According to the Talmud, Isaiah concealed himself within a cedar tree and was subsequently sawed in half by King Manasseh. Tertullian and the early Christian apologist Justin Martyr referred to the legend surrounding Isaiah's death in their writings. Justin Martyr specifically mentioned that Isaiah was executed using a wooden saw, dialogue with Trypho, 120. Origen of Alexandria, a biblical scholar and philosopher, also supported this traditional account of Isaiah's death in his writings and provided several explanations to support it. Although it is plausible that Isaiah, the remarkably faithful prophet, died as described in the ancient legend, there is no definitive way to ascertain this. The Bible does not provide any explicit evidence regarding whether Isaiah lived during the reign of King Manasseh, nor does it disclose the year or manner of Isaiah's death. And that concludes our video on the life and legacy of the prophet Isaiah. His unwavering faith and powerful prophecies continue to inspire people around the world to this day. From his divine calling in the temple to his courageous proclamation of God's message, Isaiah's words resonate with hope, redemption, and the promise of a Messiah. Despite facing opposition and persecution, Isaiah remained steadfast in his mission, warning the people of Judah of the consequences of their actions and urging them to turn back to God. His prophecies of the coming Messiah brought comfort and anticipation to a nation in need of redemption. Isaiah's vision of a future filled with peace, justice, and harmony continues to inspire us today. His words remind us that even in the midst of darkness, there is always hope for a brighter tomorrow. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Isaiah. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. And as always, share your thoughts and comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, may the words of Isaiah resonate in your heart, guiding you towards a life of faith, hope, and salvation.